Welcome back to Binge Now. If you're a fan of fairy tale romances and royal dramas, you're in the right place. Join us as we count down the top 10 royal hallmark movies. This list spans over the last decade, so prepare for a majestic journey through love and royalty. Let's dive in. He is my personal security guard. He goes oh. with me everywhere when I am undercover. Right. <gasps> nice to meet you. Oh, great to meet you. Starting the list off at number 10 is tabloid journalist Charlotte, played by Brooke Dorsey, pretends to be from a more well-known publication to land an interview with a reclusive count. After being misidentified as the count, groundskeeper Adam, played by Will Kemp, pretends to be the elusive royal and grows closer to Charlotte while keeping up the ruse. Will Kemp's character is charming and you almost root for him to keep up the facade. It is not typical or ideal for a romance to start based on lies, but Hallmark found a way to pull it off in this movie. It's been an honor painting you. I've loved every moment. Princess Amelia is following her heart to America. Grady will tend to you during your stay. Just to be clear, I don't need a bodyguard. At number nine, we have A Royal Runaway Romance, a 2022 Hallmark original movie. A Royal Runaway Romance is a 2022 Hallmark Channel original movie about Princess Amelia of Bunbury, played by Philippa Northeast, who travels across America to pursue a romance with an artist who painted her portrait. While traveling, she and her bodyguard, Grady, Brant Doherty, go on a runaway adventure where Amelia discovers the charm of small-town America and that she has more in common with Grady than she thought. Sparks fly between the two. After her romance with the artist fizzles out, Amelia realizes that her runaway romance has led her to a different destiny. The film was well received for its fresh approach and engaging performances. A Royal Runaway Romance is a charming film that combines the excitement of a royal escape with the warmth of a romantic adventure. Philippa Sue and Brant Daughtery have a wonderful chemistry that makes their romance feel both genuine and captivating. The movie's picturesque setting and heartfelt story make it a delightful addition to the royal genre. You'll go undercover as the royal nanny. I'll do my best. The children are prone to mischief. Well, I assure you. Coming in at number eight is The Royal Nanny, a 2022 film that combines royal intrigue with romance. Rachel Scarston stars as the nanny, who is hired to protect a royal child while uncovering a potential security threat. Dan Ginot plays the prince, whose initial skepticism about the nanny transforms into admiration and affection. The film stands out for its unique blend of suspense and romance, offering a fresh take on the royal genre. The movie stars Rachel Scarston as Claire Champion, Greta Skaki as Juliet Lansbury, and Dan Janot as Colin. Dan Janot and Scarston have undeniable chemistry, making their romance feel both believable and compelling. The movie's intriguing plot and strong performances make it a standout. Princess, who runs away. We have to find her. I'm sure she just went for a walk. Oh, my camera is gone. Stop those. At number seven, Once Upon a Holiday, this 2015 film stars Brianna Evigan as Princess Catherine, who escapes her royal responsibilities to experience a more normal Christmas in New York City. There, she meets a charming journalist, played by Paul Campbell. The film's blend of holiday spirit and royal romance makes it a delightful watch. Brianna Evigan plays Princess Catherine, the runaway princess. Paul Campbell is Jack, a charming New York City journalist who guides her around the city. Once Upon a Holiday is a heartwarming holiday treat with a charming lead duo. Brianna Evigan and Paul Campbell deliver performances that capture the magic of both Christmas and royal romance. The movie's holiday setting and engaging storyline make it a festive favorite. Coming in at number six, A Royal Winter is a 2017 Hallmark Channel original movie about a young woman who encounters a European prince while on a European holiday and finds herself in a real life fairy tale. The movie stars Merritt Patterson as Maggie Marks, a recent law school graduate who takes a European vacation with her best friend, Sarah, to get away from a difficult career decision. While there, Maggie meets Prince Adrian, played by Jack Donnelly, who is on his way to the capital for an incognito motorbike ride. Maggie and Adrian develop a connection, but things get complicated when Maggie learns that Adrian is about to be crowned king and his mother disapproves of his romance with a commoner. Maggie helps Adrian become a better prince and Adrian exposes Maggie to a new world that helps her find a new direction in life. 
A Royal Winter is a beautifully crafted romance with a stunning winter setting that adds to its charm. Merritt Patterson and Jack Donnelly deliver performances that make the royal romance feel both magical and genuine. The film's blend of romance and scenic beauty makes it a standout. They want us to restore your great-grandfather's Christmas carousel. And Katie is the one with that Casanova prince. Can't wait to meet him. Oh! Are you okay? Perfectly. Next at five is A Christmas Carouse. This 2020 Hallmark Channel TV movie is about Lila, who is hired by the royal family of Ancadia to restore a carousel as a surprise gift for the prince's niece. Lila works with the prince to complete the project by Christmas. The carousel was originally built by Lila's great-grandfather. About 100 years earlier, Lila works for her father Roy at the family business Thomas Carousel Restoration, but has recently been considering pursuing her own career path. Along the way, they learn they're more similar than they would have thought and also help each other realize the path in life their hearts want them to follow. The movie stars Rachel Boston and Neil Bledsoe. Dance. Planning the winter event of the season? Challenging. <laughs> Keeping a secret from the entire town? Royally impossible. Nobody knows that I'm a princess. Shh. At number four, we have a winter princess. Carly, who is secretly a princess working at Snowden Peak Ski Resort, teams up with Jesse, the ski resort owner's brother, to plan the resort's 50th anniversary celebration in hopes of raising funding to make the ski resort into a year-round destination. Without a celebrity draw to the resort and a lack of interest from investors, Snowden Peak is put up for sale. Carly must decide if she should reveal her true identity as a princess to save the resort. Starring Natalie Hall and Chris McNally. Chris and Natalie definitely worked well together in this movie and totally had chemistry. They started out rubbing each other the wrong way, but that didn't last long and there's plenty of wholesome, sweet moments between them throughout the movie. Maker. Let the courting begin. How will I know which one is right for me? It's about butterfly. At number three, we have Royal Matchmaker. Kate has a gift for matchmaking and now her reputation as the Queen of Hearts has reached King Edward of Voldavia. He wants his son, Prince Sebastian, to present his future bride at the Jubilee and brings Kate on board to help. Soon it's clear the prince has a moat around his heart, but slowly Kate finds herself falling for Sebastian herself. Still, she's bent on doing her job and introduces him to her top match, Petra. Who will win the prince's heart? Starring Joy Lentz, Will Kemp, and Brittany Bristow. Allie? Number two on our list is Crown for Christmas, is a 2015 romantic comedy about a former maid who becomes a governess for a European princess. The film stars Danica McKellar as Allie Evans, a spirited and hardworking waitress who is struggling to make ends meet. After losing her job, Allie finds herself in a surprising new role when she accepts a position as a governess for a young princess in the European Kingdom of Cordina. Upon arriving at the royal palace, Allie meets the gruff but handsome widowed king, Maximilian, played by Alexis Denisov. Despite his initial reluctance, Allie's warmth and compassion for his daughter, Princess Theodora, soon begin to thaw his hardened heart. As the holiday season approaches, Allie becomes an integral part of the royal family, helping to rekindle the joy and love that had been missing in their lives. He belongs with the royal, not a commoner. You might be surprised. That girl comes from a different world. She'll never be able to fit into ours. She makes me happy. And finally, at the top spot on the list is A Royal Christmas. This classic first graced our screens in 2014 and stars Lacey Chabert as Emily Taylor, a down-to-earth woman who works as a seamstress from Philadelphia and finds herself in a whirlwind romance when her boyfriend, Leo, played by Stephen Hagen, reveals his royal identity to her, Prince Leopold. As Christmas approaches, Leo takes Emily to Cordinia for the holidays and introduces her to his mother. Emily struggles to adapt to her new royal surroundings, and Isadora, Leo's mother, tries to make things more difficult by inviting Natasha, a duchess she prefers he marries, to join them. Emily wonders if love is enough to keep her relationship with Leo from falling apart before Christmas morning. The film's charm lies in its blend of modern romance and traditional royal protocol. Critics praise the movie for its heartwarming story and engaging performances. A Royal Christmas is a delightful fairy tale with a strong, relatable heroine and a dashing prince 
and Lacey Chabert and Stephen Hagen deliver performances that make you believe in the magic of royalty. The film's festive setting and charming storyline make it a perennial favorite during the holiday season. So there you have it, our top 10 royal hallmark movies that you simply can't miss. From enchanting princesses to charming princes, which royal tale is your favorite? Are there any movies you think should have made the list? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a regal moment with Binge Now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for more heartwarming and royal content.